There are four basic data types in C. Integers, single precision floating point numbers, double precision floating point numbers, and ASCII characters. ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. And the ASCII characters are the ones that are on your computer keyboard as well as a number of others. Now the names of each of these in C are char, int, float, and double. Some people say care, in fact I do usually, care because it's short for character. Some people say car. I'm going to try to say char just so it sounds like it looks. Things that we could ask about these data types are how many bytes do we need for their representation and what range of values can they represent. So it turns out that C does not enforce the standard for how many bytes each of these uh, data types might use. So it could be dependent on a particular implementation. I've chosen two here, the GCC installation on my laptop, as well as a PIC32 microcontroller. So let's start with char. On all systems, char uses one byte. And because it uses one byte, it can represent values 0 to 2 to the 8 minus 1. There's 8 bits, so it can represent up to 2 to the 8 minus 1 because 0 is also represented. Uh, alternatively, it could represent some negative numbers as well as some positive numbers, in which case it would represent the range minus 128 up to 127. So again, 256 values. So you could use char as an integer with a limited range of values. But when you define it as a char, that you've indicated you're probably going to want to use it as a keyboard character. And now you can consult the ASCII table to see how different values correspond to different keyboard characters. So let's take a look. Here's the ASCII table. Uh, and we can zoom in here on one particular value. Let's look at B. So the character B here is represented by the decimal value 66, or the base 10 value 66 or the hex value 42. Okay. And 0x is the common way to indicate on a computer that you're going to use hexadecimal in this representation, not base 10. Okay. So let me get rid of that. Okay. So that's ASCII characters. Integers uh, typically use four bytes. And that's true for both my laptop and my PIC32. And so the range of values it can represent are minus 2 to the 31 up to 2 to the 31 minus 1. So we've got 32 bits to use. Or if it's going to take only positive values, it can go from 0 up to 2 to the 32 minus 1. Single precision floating point numbers also typically uses four bytes. But floating point numbers can represent a much wider range of values. Uh, in fact, it can go up to plus or minus 2 to the 256 or 2 to the eighth. Okay, Huge numbers. So if you can represent much larger number range with single precision floats than you can with integers, but they both have the same number of bytes, then clearly there are some integers that floats cannot represent. And in fact, once you get over 16 million or so, most of the integers cannot be represented exactly by a single precision floating point number. You don't have enough bytes. And finally, uh, double precision floating point numbers uh, often use 8 bytes. It turns out on the PIC32, double precision is also 4. Uh, but if you had 8 bytes, then you could represent numbers up to 2 to the 2048. So truly giant numbers. And of course, for both the single precision and the double precision, you can represent decimal point and decimal places. The difference between double and single is not only do you have a larger range with double by using more bytes, but you can also represent out to more decimal places. In addition to these four basic data types, you can make some changes to them. You can make integers long integers, or you can make them unsigned. So for instance, if I had unsigned int, 
that means that I'm limiting myself to the positive values here. Whereas if I just declared int, I would take positive or negative values. If I make it long, I might use more bytes to represent a larger range of values. Or I could even make a long, long int that uses even more bytes so we can represent an even larger range of values. There are positives and negatives. Obviously, the more the bytes that you use, the more memory in the representation. And also, you may slow down the mathematical computations.